Over and over again, I found the symmetry was a tool used in matrices to emphasize that there is no mistake in the message. To find numerous terms all about one long term is extraordinary. Here we have many terms that are read from right to left. However, the letters in some cases are grouped different as in the text and give different meaning than the text. Some terms are read, are read from left to right or at a skip of minus one. And in one case, a string of letters is used to form two terms that should be read in both directions. The vertical terms is the key term of the story. And all the, symmetri the horizontal symmetrical terms complement each word that they cross as part of the overall message. Why talk about kosher food? Because God established you as a holy nation. Because you have to keep his laws. Someone has to talk to make sure that we know the law. Why familiarize? Make sure that we understand that kosher food is nothing but the master of the universe's present. Who do we familiarize kosher food to? All the nations, from the end of the land to the end of the land. To whom do we fam familiarize kosher food to? To the nation that fooled the master of the universe. There was a covenant which is not being followed. And, and yet, there is another answer to the question, to whom do we familiarize kosher food to? To a nation. This message is for the masses. There is a general lack of following his covenant. What food shall we talk and introduce to? It is the food that was accepted at Mount Sinai when they said, we shall do and listen. It is the food that was accepted as part of the covenant that the fathers of the nation made. Why this food? It is for your heart and soul. The matrix will continue this theme in other places. Are some of the benefits of this kosher food a kinder heart, a sensitive heart? Will this food reduce heart disease if we do not consume the fat meat of the pig? Are we here on earth to elevate our soul and is our soul liable to be hindered by non-kosher food? The matrix will have more on this subject. How shall we speak and introduce or familiarize this food? We must talk about it with all our heart in it and all our soul. We are all responsible for all our brothers. How should we love that food? with all our heart and our soul. Why should we speak about and familiarize this food? We should because we will be blessed no matter where we live for talking about and verifying that we consume the proper food. We are always messengers. It is the responsibility of each and every one of us. And each one of us will be blessed for taking part in informing about the importance of kosher food. Why this food? Because we will be blessed for eating according to his instructions. In the biblical sense, the land that you come refers to Israel today. The Bible defined it as a land with the good food. In the covenant, 
that was established with our fathers, the fitting and the perfect was the objective. There are three reasons to adopt this food in this one term. One, be brave. Do not be afraid. You may not understand it, but it is good for you. Two, adapt it. Fear the master of the universe. Three, adopt it. The master of the universe adopted it. You see? Why kosher? It is fit for kings. It is written in the Bible that the children of Israel are to become a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Fitting and perfect. Kosher food is part of that responsibility. Why kosher? Once again, we have more than one version to one term. One. Kosher because the master of the universe created the sign for it. The sign theme will repeat in the matrix many times. Two, the kosher food that the master of the universe created for kings. Why talk and introduce him to kosher food? Talk and the land will hear what I have spoken. Note that the I here refers to the master of the universe. Who is the master of the universe in question? It is the master of the universe that made the kosher sign. It is the kosher sign that is, that is now being abandoned. Who is the master of the universe in question? We are talking about my master. All of us individually are calling the master, my master of the universe. What should we talk and introduce, familiarize to the nation about kosher food as asked by the master of the universe? All those things to all of Israel and it shall be said to them, take it to your heart. We must address the kosher food issues seriously by letting others know and keeping the covenant ourselves. The kosher food matrix literally revolves about the main extended term of kosher food. We saw the symmetry of terms about this term and we will see more terms about it which are not symmetrical. There are numerous terms in this matrix to the left and right of this main term. The expression kosher food in the matrix was extended and the following sentence was obtained. Talk and explain kosher food, signed, the master of the universe. Or, talk and explain kosher food to, to whom we'll see. It is interesting to note that in the Bible, that is exactly the same way as kosher food was introduced. In the Bible, the master of the universe asked Moshe and Aaron to explain kosher food to the people. Talk to whom? As shown before, the main term asks us to introduce kosher food to, to whom? Following the long-term question, at the bottom we find the answer. To all of Israel. Note that according to Jewish law, anyone that his mother is Jewish is automatically Jewish. Many Jews today do not know that their mother's mother and her mother and mother's mother, etc., were all Jewish. Talk and introduce. Both horizontal and vertical terms are saying similar things. The horizontal is found immediately at the end of the vertical term. Both are requesting that those things will be told. The bottom horizontal term is there to emphasize the necessity to explain the important issue. 
How much clearer can the message be asking to talk about kosher food? In how many ways should the message be told?